Tell my problems to the camera, I'm vlogging. I'm vlogging. What's going on guys, so welcome to a new video, another like day in the life update video if you will. Uh, it's been a while actually since I've done one of these, like the last few videos have been very much like informative, uh, giving information on like social media marketing, productivity and stuff like that. Um, like I said, today's probably a bit more of an update video, uh, bring you guys along with me uh, you know, on my day. Got a few meetings, actually got quite a packed schedule today. Um, these last few weeks have been like quite calm, uh, but obviously you know now it's uh, it's April Q2, you know the second quarter of 2019. So um, you know we're gonna pick up the pace a little bit, um, try to get a few more meetings, a few more clients, and stuff like that. So that's been going well. Um, in terms of Brand Panier, the agency, um, the way we've had it previously uh, was that I have an Amon Sag, which is Dutch for sole proprietorship in the Netherlands, called Brand Panier. Bradley, my business partner, has an LLC, like his own LLC in the UK. And what we used to do is we used to have all the like the retainers from, um, you know, all the clients. We used to put that into one account and then just split it equally, um, you know, so whatever's left over after all the costs and stuff like that. We split it 50-50. I send him an invoice for my 50%. He sends me an invoice for his 50%. And that is how we basically been, that's how we've been running the business for the last year or so. Obviously, very messy, not the most efficient way, and also for tax purposes, um, it's not the most effective way of doing it in terms of tax. Because um, obviously, you know, I pay tax over it in the in the Netherlands, and he pays tax over it in the UK. So very messy. We thought, you know, what? Let's just um, actually create a limited company in the UK. You know, it's most efficient, most cost effective, and most professional way of doing it. So we now have Brampton Air Limited um, as of the end of March. Um, it's the 4th of April now, so it's, it's officially up and running. Brand Panier Limited, uh, a limited company in the UK. I'll be keeping Brand Panier, the sole proprietorship in the Netherlands for my personal brand and stuff like that. I know it's a bit complicated, uh, but that's just, uh, for now, it's just the best way of doing it. Funny thing is, in the UK, you actually get, like, you actually get like, official shares, like, like, like the way they used to do in the old days. So let me just quickly show you. So, when we set up um, the company, Brand Panier Limited, we actually got like uh, shares like this so i've got one share bradley's got one share and we both own the company for 50 percent i'm guessing people from the uk think that's like the most normal thing in the world but for me i thought that was quite good i like that like we don't do stuff like that in the netherlands um other than that trying to think what else what else has changed um obviously because i'm a dutch citizen you know it's been a quite a pain to actually set up a uk based company I had to get an english national insurance number I had to set up an english bank account and uh, for someone who's got a Dutch passport, Dutch nationality, that was actually quite difficult. Even though I've got an English accent, you know, um, on paper, I am not English. So uh, that was a bit of a pain, but finally got it set up. Also set up uh, other bank account for another company that I've started in 2019, which is going to be a real estate company. Something I really wanted to get into a very long time, obviously. You know, to get into real estate, you do need the funds, and uh, with lifestyle design, brand panier, my personal brand, you know, that is slowly um, making it possible for me to actually invest into real estate, looking into um, an apartment to purchase once it's actually uh, finished, it's being built now, to rent out, and then have like a buy to let type company running in the UK. Um, hopefully as passive and as automated as possible so I can focus on my personal brand and on brand Panay uh, a bit more. Um, actually written down like, all the, the updates that I need to tell you guys about. Uh, brand Panay into the property investments, uh, the free training. So yeah, in terms of lifestyle design mastery, um, my like online course to show you how to like build a wildly profitable online business. Um, I'm going to be coming out with a free training just to give you a bit more insight into the course and stuff like that. Uh, working on that, been working on that for the past three months now. Really want to give as much value as possible for free, you know, so uh, people get a bit more of an understanding of what is actually in the course. Um, that is almost finished. Other than that, uh, for today, we've got one, two, three, four meetings today. Um, one just with Bradley, my business partner. Um, just to go over what we're actually going to say in the other meetings. So when we have meetings, we just uh, jump on a quick call beforehand, explain uh, or like just talk to each other like what is the strategy going to be. Play a bit of a uh, good cop, bad cop, you know, to the the clients. I'm normally the one that, um, that asks like the difficult questions, and Bradley is the one that mostly goes for the close in terms of the rates and stuff like that. He's really good at um, like positioning us 
as uh, in a way that we can ask for higher retainers. Um, other than that, we also have a meeting today with our new media buyer. So we've been working with a Facebook ads guy for a while now and because we are getting more and more clients, you know, he's basically the one that is like uh, in control of all these clients. You know, he manages all these clients, which um, it's getting to the point now where we've got too many clients for one person to handle. So we've got another media buyer who is gonna um, just like take over a bit of the workload. He's gonna focus on all our US clients and the, our current media buyer, Facebook ads expert, is gonna focus more on the UK side of things. So that way it's a bit more organized and uh, for people in the US, you know, obviously with the time zone difference, um, our US media buyer can basically answer to them uh, more quickly. So there's no more where a client would send us a message and we're all asleep because the media buyer from the US will focus on that. Um, enough from the one, that was a six minute talk, which was only supposed to be a little mini update. Uh, like I said, I'm just gonna take you guys along with me on my day and we'll see what we get up to. So guys, just uh, just a quick look at the calendar. Hope you guys can see because there is a bit of a reflection. Um, it's 10:40 now. Being editing um, my video, um, as you can see, uh, working on like a pre-roll ad video uh, for the free training. Um, so I've actually been working on that uh, in the in the meantime. But um, basically, this is what my my daily slash weekly routine looks like. Um, start at six. Between six and eight is mostly like morning routine time. I work on um, actually work on not on. I actually write down um, what, I'm gonna, what I want to achieve and what I want to do that day in the five minute journal. Write out to do this. Go for a morning walk. Have a morning coffee. Uh, stuff like that. So that is all between six and eight. Then from eight to ten, mostly open. You know, reply. Be reactive basically to um, you know emails, Slack messages, uh, stuff like that. You know, just check on all like the potential meetings that we've set up and. Everything like that is happening in here. Um, every other day, I have a full body workout between 11 and 1. Uh, for today, is like, it's like a rest day today, so obviously I've got that meeting with Bradley in a minute. Then we're gonna contact all our current clients, um, just like a mini catch up with all our current clients, just to um, you know, send them over like a little mini report from like the last time we sent one. I think the last time we sent was like, um, two weeks ago now so a little mini report with all the updates of all the leads and sales that we've made then we've got a meeting with a potential client um, it's like a, a shoe company um, how do I explain that so it's basically a, a, a high-end shoe brand uh, we're gonna speak to the owner of that focus on the pre-roll ads again then we've got another meeting later today what time is that that is uh, about five o'clock quarter past five Another meeting today with a UK based company and then we've got our meeting with the media buyer. This might actually be somewhere around there. We haven't confirmed that time just yet, but yeah, that is what my day is looking like so far. Hi guys, so it's half past 11 right now. Um, got quite a lot of work done. Like I said, I'm busy with the, like the YouTube pre-roll ad video. But for now, half past 11, gonna get a quick bite to eat. That'll be my first meal of the day. It'll be breakfast, probably just be protein oats, and then we'll continue with the rest of the day. Yeah, so, so I suppose we'll have to. So we can, we can use that. That's better than nothing, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. And then he said, obviously, once you've actually got the customer list, create a hyper targeted uh, look like audience. And he said, set up that product catalog. Uh, a message this morning of some guy I followed up with. Oh, Literally, no, I followed it. Sorry, he just said, I've actually started marketing from another firm. I appreciate your sales and hope I will use them in the near future. Currently, I've decided to go to another marketing firm, but if they do not suit me, I will for sure contact you if you're free at the moment to have some projects. Uh, well, at least he's uh, not let us know after we asked 10 minutes before the call then. Right, guys, so I was supposed to have that call with a potential client, and they messaged us like literally nine minutes before the meeting saying that they decided to go with another firm. Um, that they appreciate our help and blah blah blah, but they've decided to go with someone else. Um, it's weird because we 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 were just talking about this client and we we got the feeling that they were just getting on like a discovery call and talking to us and asking questions for their own benefit, so like to actually go out and do it themselves. So um, you know we're suspicious, or you know we've got the suspicion that the this guy has just decided to do the ads himself and he was just asking. Um, you know, reaching out to us because you wanted the information, but you know, stuff like that happens, you win some, you lose some. We got one more 
meeting later today. Other than that, I'm just gonna um, focus on the personal brand for a bit, you know, get some Instagram um, copy, you know, like Instagram captions created and work on the free training. Hi guys, so I just spent the last, what is it, like 20, 30 minutes uh, going through all of the DMs. Now I've got 11 DMs and 30 more requests to go through, but uh, I'm calling it a day. You know, that's enough for me for today. Um, like I said, guys, I am struggling to... Hang on. Hi guys, so that's better. Uh, like I said, guys, you know, I am struggling to reply to every single message every single day. You know, I get uh, between 30 to 40 DMs every single day. Uh, for some of you with bigger accounts, that may not seem like a lot, but for me, you know, I have, for a while now, I've replied to every single direct message, whether that is through text, through a little video, or a vo uh, voice message. You know, uh, it went well for a while, but now it's just getting, you know, uh, there's too many messages. So, if you want to contact me, or if you've got a question for me, or anything like that, the best place to contact me is here, is on YouTube. So, if you leave a comment under my video, that is uh, where I reply. I have replied to every single YouTube comment. Every single day, it's like one of the first things I do every single morning. So, if you've got a question, here's the best place to ask them. No, no not to worry. All good. Okay, great. Um, so, uh, we've spoken to Michael a couple of days back and he mentioned that uh, you guys are doing uh, Facebook ads through an agency in London and you guys aren't too happy with the results so far. Uh, so, we've spoken about like what we would possibly uh, do, you know, different than this other agency, you know, to see if we can get better yeah. kinds of results. And he mentioned that you were much more knowledgeable on the subject than, than he was. Uh, or per inquiry, which we send out. So how would how would you work it? Sure. So what we do is we just charge a flat monthly uh, retainer. So we don't charge based on ad percentage. We don't charge based off of um, the amount of leads we inquire. You know whether we get you one lead or ten thousand leads. Obviously our fee is is flat, which is kind of good in terms of long term relationships for us because you know it's it's not about necessarily just how many we generate you. It's about how many sales you get because obviously. The better job we do for you, the longer that we'll keep a working relationship, and then the better that is for kind of both parties. So, um, yeah, we just charge a, a flat fee every single month, and that includes everything um, in from the you know split test into the ads, the creation, to the mm -hmm. you know, so your pages to the growth, everything, and it's all included in that fee. All right, guys. So that was the last meeting of the day. It's quarter past six right now. That meeting went on for over an hour. And we're using like the free version of Zoom for these calls. And I kept getting notifications that after 40 minutes, like the call was going to cut off. For some reason, it went, it, it basically Zoom allowed us to continue the call, which is great. Um, amazing call. I literally got so much out of them. A uh, company that is actually working with another agency, so they weren't exactly interested uh, at the first point. But now we've actually got them really interested. We've showed them that we can do a, like a much better job than this other agency. Which is actually like a really big, um, like online marketing agency from London. Um, so it just goes to show that the size of the company doesn't actually matter. You know, um, if you're an expert at Facebook ads, if you're an expert at what you do, you can actually you know get amazing results. Um, regardless of if you've got this massive uh, business offers and stuff like that. But anyway, um, the meeting with the new media buyer is moved to another day, so. Um, can't have this on this this vlog uh, which is probably a good idea because or a good thing because this is going to be a very long video anyway so i'm going to wrap up this video here like this video got something out of it subscribe to the channel for more and i'll see you guys in the next one